That's for being here today. I appreciate you all being willing to um, take some time out of our PLC to discuss my MARC, my Master's Action Management Project through Campus Hill University. Okay, so my MARC was created to sort of gauge the effects of technology on one-to-one, one-to-one technology on student motivation and engagement. Okay, does, does technology motivate those students and engage those students? I know Mr. Clark is um, actually kind of weighing that in his class right now. We're, we're kind of shifting from traditional like lecture based to full on like one to one, right? Okay. Cool. Um, so this is just telling you what class I am in through Campbell Hill University. The introduction. All right, so we all teach in the 21st century, right? Um, you're probably the one who's taught the longest in, in, you know, in this group. And so would you say that you've seen technology kind of progress since you're here? You would, like, yeah. since you started teaching? Yeah, my first year, I started an overhead projector my first year. You started on an overhead? Yeah. I remember. I remember yeah. when I was in high school. And then I went to smart board the second year. Yeah. 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 Very cool. So my, my thought on this was if we're 21st century educators, it's important for us to know, right, to keep in the know about technology. To, to be able to understand how it affects our students and how it affects our teaching practices. Okay, so I wanted to set out to understand how to implement this evolving technology because, you know, we started um, with like iPads, right? And now we've moved on to Chromebooks and then there were Lenovo's and now we're kind of offering some MacBooks to students in this district. So I wanted to see how effective those were in teaching and then like the delivery of the instruction. So this research study aims to understand to what extent does technology, specifically one-to-one -one technology, have on student motivation and retention of social studies knowledge and content. Okay. So the research question again, to what extent does one-to-one -one technology have on student motivation and engagement? So I, I believe it would be useful to understand what role technology plays in a student's desire to learn. We know that every student in this building just about has cell phones some type of device, whether it's issued to them, you know, by their parents or whether it's by the district, okay? Each kid that walks through our doors every day has some type of device, okay? So I thought that it was really important to be able to see if they, if that helped them to retain content knowledge, specifically, would it be beneficial to know if students respond in a more positive way of using that one-to-one -one technology over traditional style of teaching and, and lecture-based teaching um, so I wanted to see specifically in the social studies class when using Chromebook technology instead of traditional paper-based methods. The study explored and examined the educational impact and effect of one-to-one -one technology had, again, on student motivation and engagement. So the location of the research study was completed at Shelby County um, High School in Shelby Hill, Kentucky. The research participants were 11th grade students. Okay, I had 82 students Female, I had about 30 uh, females participating in the study, 52 males, the age range anywhere from 15 to 18 years old. Minorities, I had 12 minorities, and when we talk about minorities, my largest group of minorities were Hispanics and African Americans. I had 70 Caucasians participating in the study. Two of these student participants carried a 504 plan, and then six carried a IEP. The length of the study, the, the study took place over the month, um, just about five weeks or so, 35 days across two class periods. For the Master's Action Research Project through Campbell Hill University, uh, we, we were required <coughs> to do a, a background in our paper, which is very similar to a literature review. You probably remember doing those in college or in your own uh, Master's Action Management Project yourself. So I incorporated, let's see, one, two, three, four, five of these. I had six different studies that I examined that I read through. Um, you guys can read those as to the implications of those studies. Some of them were pretty interesting. <coughs> um, all of them focused on motivation of using one-to-one -one devices. Some of them even looked more so at the middle school level than they did at the high school level. So how was data collected? So I collected quantitative data on pre and post test assessments 
opportunities for administrators to students before and after the study via GradeCam. GradeCam is an online grading system, and I also implemented the use of Google Reports. I think my computer is going to be <coughs> All right. It should still be recording. Okay. Are you all familiar with GradeCam? You're familiar with yeah. it. Um, I actually... scored very decent um, in their in their pretest assessment. Kind of it was it was similar to the experimental group. And then their post test scores, they were not much off of the experimental group. They were just right under a three, okay, which is about an 80% in, in those who are not using standard technology. Alright, so looking at the data, okay, like I said, we, we collected three forms of data. I used classroom observations, student voice surveys, and the pre- so looking at the common themes in the classroom observations for the experimental group, um, these kids, they forgot a lot of their learning materials, but it was not in the traditional sense in that, hey, I don't have a pencil. It was, I don't have a charger, or my one-to-one -one technology is um, is dead. I feel like we can all probably identify with that, and that is really frustrating at times. Uh, these students, they began work promptly by opening their computer and accessing Google Classroom as 
you all know, Google Classroom is a learning management system um, online tool. All assignments automatically saved in Google Drive. That was easy for them to keep up with their assignments. They didn't delete their assignments. Students worked independently and collaboratively, off-task behavior. So I saw in, in a second when I changed the slide, there was actually off-task behavior in both groups, the experimental and the control group. However, I found that the off-task behavior in my exper experimental group differed. That was more so like, I'm gonna get on YouTube or I'm gonna search the web in another tab while my teacher can't see my screen. Um, whereas off-task behavior in my control group, which we'll get to in just a second, was more so like um, trying to poke a classmate or I don't think kids pass notes anymore. I feel like, I don't know, that maybe they threw something across the room. Um, tapping, you know, tapping their desk. So it, the off-task behavior sort of looked different for both groups. There was very little collaboration and discussion in the one-to-one -one technology control, or I'm sorry, experimental group, okay? Because they were very focused in, it was almost an individual thing using their their one-to-one -one technology. So common themes in the control group
more positive groups. Um, should we be using Chromebooks versus MacBooks? Or should we be using Chromebooks versus iPads? Lastly, how am I going to share the results? Uh, like I said earlier, I plan on sharing the results through professional developments. The district share fair. And then communicating results to parents, I feel, um, would, would be really useful for their next steps. So. Thank you guys so much um, for, for listening and, and being available to uh, take some time out here after your week to, uh, to see me present this. What, what questions might you have? Uh, I, could you also... Right. So what's more appropriate as far as like the standard of report the learning outcomes? Right. Maybe so there's a, a activity or lesson or whatever that maybe is best suited with the you know technology the, versus right. maybe the print book and then you're doing maybe some Mac or Chromebook. That's so true. Because I think I think you have to in, in the digital age and twenty first century where we're going as education, you have to be careful with not over You know, I, I do. Um, I'm in my observation room with some kids who do this in my class, and this really has a positive conversation with the kids. They say that it's easier to educate and highlight and hold their attention on a piece of paper over trying to do that on a computer, trying to highlight or type on a computer. Um, I had several students that even asked in the control group study at one point throughout that study, they even asked, can I have a paper copy? Um, and I tried to kind of encourage them to continue using the, the Chromebook, but you know, I, that's what I found. What do you guys think as to why students would probably prefer? I, I think that's the same thing too. Same thing. Want to hold one to get their hand in it or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And they're not very efficient with typing. When it comes to writing, You're right. they're a lot more efficient with handwriting. They're not great typers. You're exactly right. I found that to be true in the study because it actually took me longer for those students to complete some of those learning tasks as opposed to just writing it out because these kids don't have that that skill of typing their diagrams and just write it. You don't think that you guys have yeah, to yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's like the best class I ever took in eighth grade because that's like a bunch of students. Oh, yeah. I don't think you do. Yeah, you're trying to do. But you know, now that we have one to one, I mean, these kids know many schools where they know to type on a computer for sure. So, you would think. So, I would imagine in a few years, you know, that that would be different in our classroom. It's more efficiency with typing. Yeah, someone's using iPads and printing classes. Yeah. 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 You know, I've heard stories of like, you know, when we were a kid and we were playing Bubble Gum or something, and you're like, you know, ring, ring, hello, and you, you hold it like this. Um, I was at And again, what's it going to be in 10 years, you know? They're going to be worried about efficiency typing. It's going to be something else, probably. That's true. That's um, true. Did, did you do any in your research uh, with one one? Did, did you get into the SAMR model at all? You know, SAMR? I'm not familiar with the SAMR. SAMR. So, because I wonder with, with that, like, you know, if, if some people in the district can say that, you know, these the technology is not increasing our student motivation and engagement, like in their class, and they're saying that, but in the counter as well, because you're not using appropriately. Like you're not using the SAMR model. The SAMR model is like, it's one thing to just, so the S stands for substitute. So if this, if this is something they're doing on a computer that they could do with paper and pencil, that's just substituting it. So they want technology to get to the, I forget what all the acronyms are, but mm -hmm. to the point where you're doing things with a computer that you couldn't do you without it. You absolutely could not do without the yeah. computer. That and that's sense. where they want that ideal use of that's technology. Yeah. But they provide hardly any professional development on that, you know. And you well, tell you what the SAMR model is, but then you also, yeah. the reason why I cut back on the technology is the technology itself. There's a cost for it, too. 
Uh, you know, I mean, of course, the, the charge that you get, but there was poverty. I, I'm sitting that kid every day. This is broke. This is broke. This yeah. is broke. And you get it's not there, so they don't take care of it. Right. <laughs> it, it, it's the quality of the, the books that we have. Is not, they're not very good. They're not good. And so, I mean, I just, if we had something that would work, and somehow we, our case, you know, they put it in, oh, we go. we did, but somebody else got lost. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. No, you can't eliminate it because we 